Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another Screencasts Online weekly tip video. Apple have created a robust and simple method of transferring all of your data to a new iPhone. The usual steps are unpair your Apple Watch on the old iPhone, back up your old iPhone to iCloud or iTunes, make sure that your new iPhone has the same iOS version installed as your old iPhone, restore the backup to your new iPhone, pair your Apple Watch with the new iPhone, and then restore your Apple Watch backup. Now this works great, but does restore all of your data, including potentially dozens and dozens of apps that you no longer use. If you want to clear your iPhone and start off with a fresh installation, you can set up your iPhone as a new iPhone, but at the current release, you'll lose all of your health, activity, and achievement data. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an iPhone as a new iPhone, yet transfer all of your health, activity, and achievement data across to the new phone. This does involve the use of a third-party utility and has worked successfully with iOS 11.1, but there's no guarantee that this will work for future releases of iOS. But having said that, it works fine at the moment, so let's take a look at how to set it up. So this is the rig I'll be using to demonstrate. I've got my MacBook Pro. I have my white iPhone 8 Plus, and this is the phone that I've been using. I want to transfer uh, all the activity, health, and achievement data from my iPhone 8 Plus across to my new iPhone 10. Now to do this, I'm actually going to display the phone on screen so you can see a bit more clearly what's happening. And as you can see on this particular phone, uh, I've got tons and tons of applications and I really don't use half of these or probably a, a larger percentage of the half. So I want to start from scratch across on my iPhone 10. I don't want to transfer all this data, uh, all these applications, but I do want to transfer my health, my activity and my achievements data. The initial part of the process is exactly the same as if we were going to do a normal restore, and that's creating a backup. I need to create a backup of my iPhone 8 Plus. I also need to create a backup of my Apple Watch. First thing to do is to unpair the watch from the phone. So if I go into the watch app on the phone, tap on Don's Apple Watch, tap on the little eye symbol, and then select unpair Apple Watch. I just need to confirm, and now I need to enter my Apple ID password, and this allows it to unpair it from the watch, remove it from my account, disable activation lock, and remove Find My Watch. So let me just go ahead and do that. So that's now started the process of unpairing the Apple Watch. This might take a little while. Uh, basically what it does is to create a backup of the watch within the iPhone backup, so that when we restore it onto another phone, we can restore the watch as well. But I'm going to leave this for a little while and we'll come back once it's completed. So the unpairing has now been completed and if I show you my watch you can see here it's looking for an iPhone to pair with. Let me just come out of the watch application and let's have a look at the activity data that's held on the phone. So if I do a quick search for activity, as you can see several months of ring completions my achievements data, there is also workouts in here as well, all ready to be backed up in a standard iPhone backup. The next step is to take a full backup of the iPhone. And to do that, I've come across to the Mac. It's still connected to the Mac via its USB cable, but I'm going to do an iTunes backup because we're going to process the backup using a third-party utility. And to do that, the backup needs to be on your Mac. Now, normally I do backup to iCloud, but as I say, for this particular uh, set of circumstances, I'm going to back up to my Mac. So to do that, if I go into iTunes, and then if I just click on the button, the little iPhone button, there's my iPhone 8 Plus. So currently I automatically back up to iCloud, but I want to back up to this computer. And importantly, I want to encrypt the iPhone backup. So to do that, I need to give it a password. So let me quickly enter a password. We'll verify the password. And remember this password in my keychain. Now, the reason I encrypt the iPhone backup is that this allows uh, health and HomeKit data to be backed up as well. So we'll just go ahead, say set password. So that's going to take uh, five or six minutes to back up completely. In the meantime, what I will do is to reset my iPhone 10 to its factory settings. So into settings and then into general and scroll down to the bottom till we find reset. And then I want to erase all contents and settings. Now I will need to uh, enter my, oh, here we go. It's uh, asking me, do you want to finish uploading? No, we'll just say erase. 
and enter my passcode. So I'll do that off screen. Okay, and then erase all data. Again, I need to enter my passcode again. I'll do that again off screen. Okay, and then we'll say erase. And that will now reset the phone. So I'll leave that for a few minutes. And then when we come back, we'll have a phone ready to be restored. So that backup has completed. Let's zoom the Mac window up. As you can see, I have a latest backup of today, 11.49 to this computer. So we'll say done. We'll close iTunes. I'll also get this uh, quick time window out of the way as well. Right, so this is the application that we're going to use. It's by a company called Decipher Media over at decyphertools.com. They specialize in utilities that allow you to uh, recover information from backups or to retrieve photos from backups, etc. And they've created this special utility that allows you to par down, to pass through a backup and just extract your health activity achievements and watch data. Now, I've already downloaded and installed this utility. So if I pop Safari out of the way, here we go, decipher activity transfer. I'll run that for the first time. And we'll say open. Okay, so how does it work? Decipher activity transfer will take an existing encrypted iPhone, iPad or iPod touch backup and create a clone backup, keeping only the health activity and Apple watch data. You can restore this backup to a new device to start fresh or keep your achievements, watch configuration and health data, which all sounds good to me. So we'll say next. So the application will now scan your Mac to find backups. I only have this single backup here, Don's iPhone 8 plus. So we're going to select that one. It'll review it. Now to enter my password, remember I entered an encryption password when I created the backup. So I'll just add that in and it's going to go through and check the password. Now I will fast forward through some of these processes because they do take a few minutes to run through. So the next thing is it's progressing through the file. And here we go, we can review the messages. So this backup is encrypted, so it contains, so this is good. There is another message here about file names being too long. There are files in your backup that cannot be restored because the file name is too long. Typically these files are caused by bugs in an app and we'll take care of removing them if needed. That sounds fine. We'll go ahead and say customize it to progress. Now, if you do want to customize it, you need to buy a license code, but we're not actually going to customize. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and clean it. So I'll ignore these two buttons and just say clean it. And it's now cleaning your backup. So again, I'll fast forward this uh, slightly so that you're not waiting for a couple of minutes while it goes through each step. So it's creating a new backup from the original with only the requested data. And now it's creating a new backup from the original. And there we go, almost done. Click next below to continue. And now it's finalizing the backup for restore in iTunes. Again, I'll just jump to the next stage. Here we go. Some additional messages, but I'm just going to skip these for now. Next process is to start the build on the iPhone 10. So I'm going to uh, initiate or rather start the build on iPhone 10. So let me just now yeah, we'll, we'll start with the iPhone 10 first. We'll tap screen, swipe up. And now I'm going to use the uh, setup, the quick setup in iOS 11 to set up the iPhone 10. So we'll grab the image from the iPhone 10 with the 8 plus. That will start the quick setup process. Right, I'll disconnect the USB. We don't need that now. And now I need to enter the passcode of the other phone. I'll quickly do that. Of course, this is my personal phone, so I don't want to show you my passcode. And we're now off. I'll quickly jump to the next stage. So prompting us for face ID, I'll say continue. In fact, I'll skip this step. I can always set this up later in settings. So we'll carry on to the next stage. Okay, so this is the point now where we select the backup. Because I want to restore my iTunes backup, the one that we've run through the decipher application, I'm gonna choose this bottom entry, which is choose other backup or don't restore. And then on this next screen, I'll say restore from iTunes backup. And as you can see, we now get a message to connect the iPhone to iTunes. So let me plug the USB cable in and we'll see if iTunes starts automatically. 
Looks like I'll have to switch to it using Command and Tab. And there we are, iTunes has picked up the fact that we've connected a new phone to it. I can either set up as a new iPhone or restore from this backup. And this is my Decipher Cleaned Don's iPhone 8 Plus backup. So that's the one I want. I'll say continue. I'll enter the password, the encryption password to unlock the iPhone backup. We'll say OK. Right, so it's now restoring iPhone from backup. Now this will be very quick because don't forget, it's not a full backup. It's just the health activity and watch data. So as you can see, time remaining less than a minute. Settings for the phone have been restored. Leave your phone connected. It will appear in iTunes window after it restarts. So we'll just let the phone restart. Now the phone has restarted, but we've just got to let it go through its uh, initial sequence. Um, so we do need to uh, enter my passcode at this point. Right, it says on the phone, restore complete, continue. But I also now need to, well, I'm going to stop at this point. I'm going to wait until iTunes, uh, let me just try again on the message on iTunes. Um, the phone should now appear back in iTunes. So we'll just give that a few seconds. Now, if we give it a few seconds, we should see the new iPhone 10 appear. Here we go. Right, so welcome to our new iPhone. Now, I've already restored this phone. I've done the partial restore. So what I need to do now is set up as a new phone. So if we go ahead, select Setup as New iPhone, hit Continue, and just give it a few seconds, and then click on Get Started. That displays the iPhone 10 info screen on iTunes. Now on the iPhone itself, if we swipe up to start the, or rather to continue the process, just enter my personal passcode in, and now an option to enter the Apple ID. I'll take that off screen to do that. OK, that's now entered in. Just agree to the terms and conditions. I'll skip forward for a few minutes. Right, the usual standard things now. Location services, I will enable. Uh, Apple Pay, I'll set up later in settings. Siri, I'll set up later in settings. Let's send some iPhone analytics and app analytics. And I'll switch on True Tone Display. Tap Continue. We'll just skip past these information panels and we're into the iPhone. So that now contains all my health and activity data. If I go into activity, you'll see there are my rings for today. And then if I scroll up or scroll down, rather, you can see the um, rings that I completed over the past few months. There's also my achievements as well. So they've all been safely transferred across in the partial restore. The final stage in the process is to restore my Apple Watch. First off, I need to pair the Apple Watch with the new iPhone. So I'll just bring the watch close to the iPhone and you'll see this little message pops up. I can just tap continue. And that takes me into the uh, watch application itself. I just pick up the phone, capture the image off the watch. Now my Apple Watch is paired. I need now to restore from backup, and these are all the backups that are contained um, within the backup that I restored before. So the top one is Don's Apple Watch, we'll select that. And now the restoration process will continue. And that's gonna take a few minutes for that to complete. Okay, now that's finished, I've got the terms and conditions. I'll just agree and agree again. And again, another delay now while it signs into my account could take a few minutes. Now that's completed. I have the option to enable route tracking or disable. We'll say enable. Uh, we'll use Siri. We'll say OK. And shared settings, again, we'll say OK to shared settings. I need to create a passcode for my watch. I'm going to add a long passcode, um, especially with using uh, Apple Pay on the watch. I'd like to use a long password. So I'll create one. I need to do this on the watch. So I'm actually doing this off screen now. Again, this is my personal iPhone and Apple Watch, so I don't really want to uh, risk uh, revealing my passcode. Uh, once that's completed, uh, we've got the option to set up Apple Pay. I'll do that later. And also the emergency SOS, we'll just say continue. And the Apple Watch is syncing. Now that normally takes a little while for it to sync, but once it's synced, uh, we should be able to go into the watch application and see my Apple Watch already and set up to use.
OK, so now if I go back into the Watch app, we'll say OK, and there is Don's Apple Watch all ready to go. Tap on here, you'll see all my watch faces and all my applications, etc. But we'll just uh, put that back. So that's how you would partially restore a new iPhone and clear out all the old applications that you don't use anymore. Of course, you can delete applications one by one if you want. You may also be thinking it's a pity that you didn't know about this when you got your last iPhone, you would have liked to have done it then. Well, of course, you can do it with a single iPhone. What you could do is to make a complete backup of your iPhone as it stands. So do one in iCloud, do one on iTunes, as I've shown you in this uh, short video. Then reset your iPhone, set it back to factory settings, again, as I showed you in the show. Then process the backup so that you remove all the application data, and then restore that backup back to the same iPhone, and in effect, it's the same as really doing a new compave on a Mac. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com, or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.